to open the software click on application sound and videos then open short video editor so as the next part we are going to include an another audio for this videos so for that we have to right click on the video file and there we have to choose option volume then entire clip level 0 like that we have to change the audio of, of the entire clip to level 0 so I am changing the audio of all the three files to 0 level so now if you click on the play button we won't be able to see any we won't be able to hear any audio we will be seeing the video but we won't be hearing the audio so as the next part I want to include another audio so for that click on file import file then school resources standard 9 and here I am choosing Josh Woodward so select the file click on open so now our audio file is here now we will drag the audio file to the video track so click on the audio file drag it to the bottom track of the video file so now we will drag this to the starting so now we just click on the play button So here we can see we have included another audio file for the videos. So here we will cut the balance portion of the audio file. So click on the razor tool, place your mouse and click and the audio file has been divided into two parts. Again click back on the razor tool to deselect it. Then click on the audio, then right click on it and choose the option remove clip. As the next part, we are going to include a transition here. So click on the transitions. So here we have so many transition options here. So here I am choosing circle out in. So select the transition, then click, drag and place it in between the two files. Again in the same way I am choosing next this transition and drag it and place it in between the two video files so now we have included the transition we will just see from the starting of the video so click on the play button So here we can see the transitions what we have applied is being visible. So here we have seen the two transitions what we have added to our video file. So now we will save this file. So click on file then save project 
as then double click and open the student work 9 folder. So, here I am giving the file name as my project then click on the save button then OSP is the default file extension of the open shot video editor file. So, click on save. So, now we have saved our file. So, in order to quit from the window click on file quit 